Hey, tiny dream team. Hey, how are y'all? How's everybody doing? That's what we're going to call you from now on, our tiny dream team. Yes. And we got a dang good show for you We today. do. We got a dang good show. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, decided that our little conversion of our trailer, that little 5 by 8 just isn't going to work for us. There's just too many reasons. Number one, I think we bought the wrong kind of trailer. It's not we did. heavy duty enough. And number two, we spent about a week walking around Lowe's and Home Depot and different places with a notepad and just trying to figure out how to make the thing as light as possible and how much everything was going to cost. And by the time we got to looking at the um, prices, we were going to spend several thousand dollars um, building that thing and getting it the way we wanted it. And by the time we added all that up we're just like oh, we could buy a pre-made trailer for that amount of money and we really don't have the time if we're out uh looking for tiny homes we don't have the time to be sitting there yeah working on, uh, something, working on something yeah plus it got too cold it's, it, cold it's definitely still in the future i think we, we, we definitely want to build one eventually yeah just to say one, we but... did because you know we are those type of diyers but yeah, I think we're going to look at today, the plan is we've got a few of those little mini campers in mind. that Tiny you know, campers. Tiny campers, yeah. That uh, will help say, help us save on hotel bills, Airbnb bills. Right. While we're looking at all these tiny homes and, and getting our head around this whole tiny home situation. Right, because uh, a person can really run out of money when they're spending... Uh, money on hotels and or Airbnbs all the time. Yeah. So. so that's the plan for for today, today's video. Like I said, it's going to be a dang good video for you guys. You stay tuned to the end. We're going to look at a few uh, options. Then we're going to make a choice. And then we're going to make a decision. Figure out what we're going to do. And uh, we're, we're going to take you along for the ride. So hang on and watch to the end. And don't forget like, share, share and subscribe. subscribe. And leave a comment. We're still at the point. You guys haven't overwhelmed us so much, but we can still uh, respond to each and every comment. And right. We appreciate every one of you. So hang in there to the end. Watch what we're doing. We're going to take you on a tour of a few uh, micro campers, so to speak, and try to make a decision on what we want to do. Take it easy. and we'll Let's go. We'll get after it. We'll see you. All right, guys, real quick. I don't know why every place we go is next to the interstate, but I'm going to try to talk loudly so you guys can hear. But first thing we wanted to kind of investigate are these, uh, they call them kind of backpack campers, but they're a truck camper. They go on your, on your truck if you have one. And this one is a Palomino SS550. Right now, this one is a 2023, and it's for sale for $15,218. And if I didn't mention earlier, we're at uh, Bankston RVs in Atala, Alabama. But this one's $15,200. And to have a truck camper, um, that's kind of cool. But the only challenge to this one, and we've got to investigate it a little bit, uh, we'll just go around real quick. You got your fresh water, city water, your vent for your propane. You've got some exterior plugs. This is your heater vent. You've got some drain plugs and your power here. You've got a storage compartment there yeah. for your shower. Oh, yeah. Storage shower. And if you don't know how these things work, they have basically these, these legs. They stand freely like this if you don't want them on your vehicle. And then you simply raise it up to the point you want it which uh, you've got this little jack mechanism to raise it and then you back your truck in and you secure it down it's got these rubber bumpers to keep from damaging your vehicle there um, and you back your vehicle underneath it lower it back down and you're ready to go um, this one however as you can see by the top up, up there there are some latches it pops up and becomes like a tent on the top. So we're not sure if that's for us, but at this price, 15000 it's something to look at. This is uh, Palomino's made by Forest River. And you can see it's 1,600 pounds, which is basically 
the payload of our truck what it allows um they do have a Thule um awning up here which is really nice made in sweden yeah you got the Thule awning and and the propane your propane tank goes in there it's only got one propane tank 20 pounder in here as you can see but it's neat i mean it's got all your comforts that you need it's just we're wondering if you have that tent up and it gets kind of cold how how heavy is that tent material it's hard to tell when it's down but you can see you've got your air conditioner there you've got your um i can't really get up into this one unless i crawl but there's really no point because the roof is down and we'd like to get them to raise it up for us let us look at it but Here's your dinette on this side, your kitchen area on this side, and then your bed is up above, and you've got a nice little seat, step, whatever you want to call it. You've got a refrigerator there, some storage compartments under the bed, and storage under the dinette. But um, this is just sort of like a one-sided or an L-shaped dinette, perfect for two people, but uh, yeah, it's got all your creature comforts for on the road and plus you don't have to tow a trailer that's a big positive about these things but 15,000 bucks not too bad I mean we're looking at smaller campers coming in at 13 to 15 thousand dollars so it's a thought I just don't know if number one how warm it's going to be and then number two um if this model would fit fit in our truck that might be a challenge so anyway, like I said, the SS550, $15,218, but we'll keep looking and showing you some more things. It's a Palomino. Yep, Palomino by Forest River. And it looks like it's already got some solar connected too. I believe so. So you got, got that going for you. Here's another little option we've been thinking about. These are kind of your, kind of, it's not really shaped like it, but it's kind of what you call teardrop. They don't have room. If you remember in our original RV videos, a yeah, a this is a micro camper. If you remember in our original RV videos, we, we did some smaller ones like this where you have to uh, kind of crouch down to get inside. We'll go inside in a minute, but this one's on sale for 15, 319. So it's basically the same as the the other thing, it's got a roll-out awning type here. It's built. This is made by Rogue, uh, which is an Encore model, or actually it's Encore five-year warranty on the structure. But uh, here at Bankston again, Encore is uh, the manufacturer. This one's been out here in the sun a little bit. You can see the aluminum faded. has faded got nice little wheels on it but these are not the most comfortable if you're old <laughs> and we've said this before but this one has a door in the back that opens up it's a ramp you could use this for toy hauling it's yeah that's what it is for motorcycles and yeah it's built with bicycles the, with the triangle rings but you've got your power and and then for this sure. this is a little slot i've seen tvs in these mm -hmm. couple little bins uh storage over there Really no bathroom, anything like that. You've got your air conditioning unit, your vent fan. You've got some heat. You've got a couple speakers with a Bluetooth radio here and a bunch of lights. But I like the design of them. I just, we're not into, to you know, hauling toys. We want something to eat and we want to be able to fix our food on the road. I'm guessing this is an awning, right? Yeah, it unstraps and rolls out type awning. But these are made kind of rugged. They got the one propane tank like the others. And it looks like you can hook up a second there. There's plenty of room if you did something with that tire. Um, but there you go. It's a Rogue by Encore. And they have a lot of Rogues. They've got a few other models. We might show you another one or two. I don't know yet. Just... Guys, real quick, here's another side of view of the Rogue by Encore. This one, you can see they have a nice aluminum metal ladder that goes up to the top lots of racks for outdoor stuff kayaks canoes whatever you want this is their survival series it's a lot more expensive 
but this is pushing 28,000, 29,000, but I just wanted to show you the difference in a toy hauler design and a non-toy hauler. Uh, this has the uh, floor in it as opposed to the toy hauler buckles and tie downs, but, and in these type, you can always convert these beds into like a seat cushion for a couch. And that's a pretty good size. That's all the way across. But, and this one has the back wall and not the uh, door to get your motorcycles or your e-bikes in and out. And then it's, like I said before, I didn't show you this before, but here's storage. This is a good size storage compartment. You can put a small cooler and a jackery in here, whatever you wanted, but just not anything really on the comforts of being able to cook. Um, oh, yeah. A lot of this you just have to go outside and cook. It's on the outside and the back of this. Yeah. You get your grill, your whatever, and they usually have. Uh, Careful. You don't be like me. Break something. But here's your door, and this is your kitchenette. You now, the toy haulers don't have this, that's why the price is so much less. I don't know how you open this. No, I don't either. But you can see you get a refrigerator. Well, I'm trying, but it's not working. I don't know how to do it. It's and a terrible. safe box and a sink. See, it has a latch there. It's just not going. Nice little faucet. Speakers back here. Um, Who knows? You got a, it looks like a two burner. I can't get this door open, so I'm not going to stress over that, but you have this external kitchen. There you go. I got it. And you got a microwave. So you do have a kitchenette, but I don't want to be outside cooking <laughs> on cold days, if you know what I mean. So there you go. That's all nice and compact for $28,000. If you don't mind crawling around on your knees on the inside. The one thing you get with these that you don't get with other trailers is, um, can you shut that door real quick? Yeah. No, it won't shut, no. Yeah, I'm gonna shut. Go ahead. Hello. <laughs> no, I wanna show you something, shut that door. Okay. You Maybe. get. Certified Sasquatch proof technology. Oh yeah, See? that's what I'm that's talking one about. Thing you get. <laughs> Sasquatch proof technology. Yeah. I don't know. I think Sasquatch should flip this thing over if he wanted to. It's got nice LED lights on the outside and things like that. So that's nice. I just don't know that it's twenty-eight thousand eight hundred twenty-nine dollars worth of nice. So let's go on to the next. All right, guys, I'm trying to speak loud. If I'm too loud, I'm sorry. Um, just play with your volume on your device or your TV. But last thing I want to look at over here at Bankston RVs in Attila. Attala. I always want to say Attila. Like Attila the Hun. But Attala, Alabama. Is this little guy, Mini Max. Now, this one's used. It's a 2019 and it's, it's really neat looking on the outside. Got a lot of these bubble windows. Um, but I just wanted to take you through it really quickly. It's used, as I said. It's a uh, little more space than like a pop-up A frame or something like that. Plus you get the bonus of a dedicated bathroom. But again, over here in the front, you've got your kitchen area. You got storage here, a drawer here for your utensils, a drawer on the bottom, a microwave. That's just a fake door because of the sink being in the way. You got a plug there so you can put your coffee maker up here, I guess. You got a little uh, two burner Dometic gas range and a sink with a pull down faucet. As you can see, the price now is $22,450, which we're sticking really at a maximum, probably 20 grand is what we're trying to do and less. But um, 
some of these things you have to just look at your build quality like see how that's can you see that on camera the problems of stuff getting wet you know around the sink um but it is what it is it's got a contained bathroom like situation with your cassette toilet your shower all built into one and really got a really nice Norcold refrigerator and freezer on it down here. Nice little freezer drawer. So that's that's a lot of good space in here for that. This one just has the dining slash bed combination. You've got egress windows here and there. And you've got storage. You've got the... Uh, on speakers and your stereo system you've got a cabinet underneath here a little bit of counter space cabinet here and your vent fan your Dometic unit here your heat down here underneath and then you've got your system controls here. Water heater and all that stuff is right here. And your lights and all that good stuff. And good place to hang stuff, fire extinguisher. But yeah, this is this is workable, but for us we we're just not that happy with the price. And it does have solar, there's a charge controller. And your thermostat, another speaker, and a small little TV. So you can couch, bed, dining all in this, this corner. So that's this one. I mean, it's not, not bad. It's just that uh, price is a little high. And then our thought is if we were to get a pop-up, maybe a hard top pop-up, when it collapses down, your towing is going to be easier and you're going to have a situation where your gas mileage is better, not as difficult to tow and not as difficult to navigate around. These teardrops uh, are going to hurt your gas mileage a good deal and we're just not looking for that. We're looking for even tinier than this really <clears throat> for the price, but we're still looking. I think we've exhausted everything here at Bankston and we're going to go look for another nearby dealer and see what we can find there but appreciate you hanging in just hang in to the end if we uh buy one we're going to highlight the one we buy at the end so we we appreciate it tiny dream team hang in there for us all right tiny dream team we're really 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 liking these uh pop-up a a liners a type campers this is uh across the interstate at campers unlimited in attila attala gadston area of alabama this one's a rockwood and there's campers unlimited their logo on the back this one has a wi-fi extender range I'm not sure if that's a service you have to pay for monthly, but we'll figure that out. These, the A part folds down and then you've got the clamps around it that secure, secure it down. This folds in, the two walls fold in and the top comes down and overlaps. And then it just, it becomes like a, like a pop-up, but it's a solid-sided pop-up. And this one comes with solar, two propane tanks set up here. Has this nice, uh, this model is a A122S. And they call it S because of this, what you see across the front here, this is uh, storage. 
it's a storage bin on the front that'll hold up to 150 pounds of additional storage. And it's got a little plastic lid, but you can see all the storage area you have in here, and you have the doors on each side that you can access from outside of the camper too. But you've got your pneumatic assist arms, your uh, propane exhaust. There's your shore power. You've got an outdoor shower and all your other hookups, city water, fresh water drain, all those things. You've got storage here. This is a neat little cubby, but we were looking online at these. Uh, they built, they're built in with this sliding drawer. And that's good and fine to keep stuff from rattling around. But we saw one guy that was kind of complaining about it. He did the measurements and this storage will hold like seven cubic feet. But if you measure inside the walls and up to the top, he said you're losing a lot of space. So he took, took that storage cubby out, that drawer, and then he uh, took the rails out and he just made him some additional space. But this thing's got lots of windows. Um, and it has a pretty large solar panel. I think that is a 200 watt solar panel or 150 on the top. It does have the manual jack. A couple extra little storage areas. It's got a rail here to hang your grill and it does come with a suburban grill griddle and it's got an outdoor speaker and it's 2142 dry weight that's what they say but i actually think it's it's longer than that i mean lighter than that the door of course because you fold in the door's two piece no screen on this but it does have a window with a velcro well it does have a little screen for that window with a little velcro blind and they've got all the curtains drawn so it's a little little dark in here but the cool thing about this one it has a portable table now you say well portable table I don't like that well we were talking about that and a portable table you can actually just take it outside if you want to eat outside and this table if you look closely you've got these rubber boots here there's four of them you fold the table legs up lay that down and then this converts to a to a bed now that's not your only bed that's the cool thing about this one and then you've got your two bubble lights there a led light your exhaust fan here's your windows that are curtained up uh, right here we have A three burner suburban gas grill gas stove you've got a small stainless sink and over here towards this side you have your bed now Tammy and I have laid on this bed and it's plenty of room for both of us I'm not sure if it's a queen it feels like a queen but it could be a, a twin but it's it's plenty of room another led light right there and over to this side you've got more windows there's the door you've got a little built-in mirror and then down here at the bottom here you have your solar controller right now i think we can turn this stuff on there's your radio for your speakers. And just to keep out of trouble with uh, copyright, I'll turn that off. But thermostat controller. And here are your lights, which I can turn on. But you've got a little light here when you walk in so you don't trip. There are your two 
LED lights for working. Plenty of light in here. I mean, it's interesting that it's just two lights and you get all this light. But um, you've got a little workspace here. Countertop, prepping your food. Turn around. There you go. The only negative I see is two. One is that small refrigerator, and it's got little tiny ice box in it. That's one negative. Now, you do have a microwave that's down here under this, and some storage there. There's where your heat comes out. And here you got return air and some other things right there. Sorry for that pan, but you've got storage in these little cargo nets on the wall there and over here next to the to the door. You've got some storage under here. It has a cassette toilet with it. Now, it doesn't have an indoor shower, but it's got a cassette toilet that Tammy and I were talking about. You can lower this to the bed position and not put your cushions out for a bed you can just lower that to the bed position set your cassette toilet on there when you need to use it and you've got a good stable platform to sit down and use the toilet when you need to now our thought is we're gonna we're gonna be <coughs> supplanting a hotel or an airbnb but we're gonna be staying in safe places that have access to like a toilet like a mcdonald's or something like that for for the old L number two, the deuce, but for the number one, this cassette toilet would be fine. And in an emergency, it'd be okay for a, a deuce if you had to. I'm going to turn these things off. But that's the charge controller for the solar. I didn't turn this radio off. There we go. But yeah, that's this unit. Um... Like I said, these two walls fold in and then you fold the tops down and latch them closed and you're done. Uh, there's some storage accessible through the uh, outside. So that's it. We're going to see about buying this one. It's right now $17,998, but we've talked them down to sixteen nine out the door. So that includes taxes, tag, everything. So, all right, we'll let you know, give you an update. See you later, guys.